Here we got a Llama Mini Max 45. Got the Pono wooden grips. This here is a 1911 officer's model clone. But the cheapest you're gonna find clone to 1911. As you can see, it's got the skeleton hammer and the extended beaver tail. Some say they're interchangeable with 1911s, but right off the bat, the slide lock is a little bit longer than a standard 1911. You can replace it with one, but I don't know how reliable or how it'll function. It looks a little better. But this slide lock you can actually use without having to turn the gun. Got a dovetailed rear sight and a fixed front. Gonna be shooting 50 rounds of full metal jacket, some brass and some steel case, 230 grain. And I'm gonna try out seven rounds of hollow point. Just some mixed stuff. Three rounds of 165 grain hydro shock. There are four rounds. And a 205 grain One of them synthetic hollow points and a 230 grain HST. And the best for last, a uh, Winchester PDX bonded round, 230 grain. Couldn't get this 1911 to feed hollow points, but it wasn't main or uh, really mainly to shoot hollow points. They were made for full metal jackets, but I took a Dremel tool and lightly sanded and polished the feed ramp. It's a lot slicker and put some uh, Wendell or Wandell metal polish on there, made in Germany. So it's a lot slicker now. It chambers the rounds manually trying it, but I try out after testing 50 rounds of full metal jacket, see if it will shoot these seven rounds of mixed hollow point. Here we go.
there's eight rounds. Eight more rounds of the steel case. Here's the brass. I think I might have rode the slide lock in that one round. <clears throat> As you can tell, these are standard 1911 mags. It does take 1911 magazines. This is a 10 round Wilson Combat Mag. Might need a little oil, had to hit the slide a little bit to send that round home. Might be a little dry. I haven't oiled the gun or cleaned it. Every mag the slide's been locked back though. Here's the seven round act mag uh, hollow points. Four rounds is 165. And then the fifth round's the blue synthetic 205 grain and then the sixth round is 230 grain and then the seventh round so lightest to heaviest hollow point Here's the moment of truth.
Still seven rounds of hollow point, no issue. Okay, we'll take it apart and see how it looks. Comes apart just like any other standard 1911. You line that first notch up right here. Take that slide lock out and slide it forward. You'll notice a little hole right there. That's for the extended beaver tail when you engage it. It pops up. Anyway, it's got a metal recoil guide rod. Uncaptured. And this gun's made in Spain. The unique thing about this guide rod, regular 1911s don't got it. So you see those two notches? That's for your, uh, the link on your bottom of your barrel. It lines up right against that and you ain't got to guess or line up the hole to get the slide lock in. Pretty creative. This piece here comes out. You notice this one's got a it, 
the extractors on the outside instead of on the inside. Instead of our internal extractor, it's a external. Like most 1911s are internal. This one's like the Smith & Wesson or a SIG. Is it ejects fine?